Welcome to the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. I'm Mike Keith in the Bet MGM Studios with head coach Mike Vrabel, and it is Wednesday. That's right. We're delayed by a day because of the election, so obviously good reason. But uh, Mike Vrabel, as we welcome you to the show a day later than we usually do it, what is a Wednesday like for the Titans football team? Well, I mean, it's about preparation for the for the upcoming opponent, and this week it's the Bears. It's it's about getting the keys to the players and understanding uh, what we have to do in each phase uh, to win the game. And, and when we execute those keys and, and we get those uh, coached and, and explained to the players and they go out and execute them, you know, we usually have success. And so that's what uh, Wednesdays are about. Uh, and then, then making sure that we have the game plan of first and second down uh, as we, as we work t- towards uh, the, the end of the week. So let's go to the Mike Vrabel six-pack as we do the program here on this Wednesday. And we sort of have topics. We have broad topics instead of plays because we're a day later. And, Mike, the question you've been asked all week is about your third down defense. So let me just put it in as simple a form as I can. Is there one specific thing the defense can do better to make third down defense improve? I mean, let me answer this, I guess – simplistically as you did and asked it. No, you know, it's not. It's about, you know, getting out there in third and long, uh, forcing them to, to, to convert third and long. You know, that's that's where it can be. It's not third and one, third and two, where they're going to have the numbers and the percentages. But, you know, getting a call into the players, practicing it better, you know, we'll, uh, we'll just keep coaching it better. I guess that's what we'll do. So third down defense is much like an offensive play in terms of everything has to function together to make you successful. All the pieces have to work to stop the opponent from picking up a first down. I mean, everything that we do is like that. You know, we, we have to have 11 guys on every play function, uh, understand their job, uh, the details that go along with it, whether it's in kickoff return, punt return, punt, field goal. You know, we can't just sit out there and watch one guy. You know, when, when, when Derek runs the football, he's not just one verse 11. Uh, there, there's times where he's, you know, made somebody miss or, or he's beat somebody, but there's guys that are, that are doing their job and, and making that play work. So that would be the same defensively on, on every down and distance. You made a trade on Monday for Desmond King, a cornerback from the Los Angeles Chargers. What does Desmond King bring to the Titans secondary? Uh, we'll see when he gets out here on the practice field, Mike. We won't have him until Saturday, so you know, we'll see what he does on Saturday, and then we'll go forward uh, trying to find a place for him uh, on the team. What was the, the part of his skill set overall that made you want to acquire Desmond King? Well, he's played some meaningful snaps. He's tough, competitive. You know, he's been a good blitzer, um, played in the kicking game, and uh, you know, felt like that he could come in and, and, and you know, sometimes you know, need a change of scenery. Uh, come in and, and, and help us out. All pro punter Brett Kern was dinged up late in the game at Cincinnati. When will you be able to determine if you have a chance to have Kern on Sunday against the Bears? Well, it may be later in the week and 
you know, obviously Tucker's been on our practice squad, Tucker McCann. So if he, if, if you know, Brett can't go, you know, Tucker's been practicing not only his kicking, but but also his punting. Uh, and, and then you know, we'll make a decision with Brett uh, as the week goes on. And Tucker McCann was the regular punter at one point at Missouri, was he not? Yeah, he's done it in the past. And, and, and again, he's got a strong leg. You know, we're excited about what, what he can he can do his versatility and um, you know it'll be you know it's, it's always hard to if you have to replace a player you know, like like someone like Kern but I think that if we had to make the switch you know Tucker's been here for a while and he's comfortable with what we're doing. Deontay Foreman is a player who showed up on Sunday carrying the ball five times for 37 yards a lot of Titans fans didn't know who he was until Sunday in Cincinnati so who is Deontay Foreman? He's a talented player. He's a, he's a you know, third-round pick by the Texans. You know, high, a very successful college football player at the University of Texas. He's got a very good skill set. He's got good size, good vision. He's a natural runner. You know, I know you've watched him at practice as, as well. Um, but, but a guy that just kind of gets the ball and has a, has a good feel for, for where things are and what the openings are. And he earned his right to get some carries and has helped us, you know, helped us in the kicking game and came in and, and learned and wanted to to quickly show us that that he was committed to, to this football team. Mike, you rushed 29 times for 218 yards at Cincinnati. That's a good rushing performance overall. How do you take that performance and build on it? I think that's just what we've we've always tried to do is is, is find plays that, that we can use each and every week find some carryover, maybe, maybe some game plan plays, but, but this will be a new challenge. This is a, this is a difficult defense to, to gain yards on. And so we'll have to, to basically regroup and, you know, hopefully carry over the, the same level of confidence that we had running the football and, and build momentum through the week with the plan uh, that we'll have uh, going into the game against the Bears. The final topic of the six-pack is about the Bears. Can you give us an overview of just who you think this football team is that you're going to face on Sunday at Nissan Stadium? I mean, it's, it's a physical football team. It, it, it's a, you know, they've got a very good defense. You know, they're, they're good up front. They're big. They're two gappers. Um, you know, you got Mac and Quinn on the edges, um, two, two very active and good line, and middle linebackers, uh, Trevathan. Roquan, those guys can run. You know, they're good up the middle with, uh, with Gibson and obviously Jackson. So, you know, yards have been tough to come by. They're very good on third down. They're excellent in the red zone defensively. And uh, when they're able to run the football, that, that opens up a lot of stuff that they want to do on offense. And, you know, moving foals around in the boots and, and, and the play action and, and, and Allen Robinson. He's been their kind of go-to guy, and he's he's up for the challenge. He's excellent, very very good athlete. You know, he's a smooth athlete, good route runner, uh, great body control. That's Mike Vrabel's six pack coming up later in the show. Corey Davis had a big game at Cincinnati, so he is our Rackley roofing tough titan. But up next, our Bridgestone clutch performance play of the game, and CD's involved in that. Stay tuned for more on the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. Welcome back to the Bet MGM Studios for the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. It's time for our Bridgestone Clutch Performance Play of the Game. It's a really nice catch by a guy who had eight catches on the day, Corey Davis, coach. Yeah, it's a great catch. It's great protection. Uh, Ryan gives him a great ball. You can see the body control there by Corey to, to go and get that football out in front of him and then also to drag that foot. Um, you know, I had a great view of it. You know, I know they were him hauling around over there on the, on the sidelines about whether it was a catch or not. I was very confident that this was a touchdown. Um, you know, you could see him get that right toe down on the ground. Not sure what my man there is looking at, but uh, – but obviously, he gets a little help and uh, it comes up with the right call. Corey Davis with our Bridgestone Clutch Performance Play of the Game. His touchdown catch. Corey has 14 overall catches in the last two games, including two touchdowns. 
Time now for Delta Dental. Guess the Titan. Mike Vrabel has converted on his last two guessing the Titan. Can you guess this Titan? Yes, I think I can. I think you probably can, too. I would have gotten this one. And I'm worse than you are at this game. You know the answers. I'm also honest with myself to see if I would have gotten it. And I would have gotten that one. Usually I miss. All right, so we'll see if we get it when we come back. The Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. The Delta Dental Guest the Titan and the Rackley Roofing Tough Titan on deck. Stay tuned. Delta Dental wants to know, can you guess that Titan? As the Mike Vrabel Show continues from the Bet MGM Studios, our program presented by Coca-Cola. And so, Coach, can you guess the Titan for our friends at Delta Dental? I think I can. I think he was a lot cuter kid than he is an adult. I think that that is uh, Dennis Kelly. Three out of three. You've never done that. You have never gone three out of three. Dennis Kelly, one of the really good guys on this team. One of my favorite people to talk to, period. He's got more interesting things going on and more interesting things to say. I really enjoy him. Well, you know, Purdue, you know, they've got the engineers. They, they put out ah. the guys. Um, a little different than those guys you're talking to from Ohio State. Uh, but he is, he's you know, he's our player rep. You know what I mean? He's, our, he's the, the NFL PA uh, rep and a uh, very intelligent guy. Great teammate, well-respected player. You know, he was offered a basketball scholarship to go to Indiana. Bobby Knight. I know, right? A little late for Bobby Knight. Speaking of guys I like to talk to, Corey Davis. And so happy to see him getting things done right now. A popular guy with his teammates, a popular guy with everybody in our organization, playing really good football since he came back from the COVID-19 reserve list. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we worried about his conditioning a little bit. He played a played a full game for us and and continues to, to be physical and, and block in the run game. Also make contested catches. He's got strong hands. He's good after the catch. So, you know, it's uh, it's good to have him back at, at full strength. Eight catches, 128 yards and a touchdown at Cincinnati. He is our Rackley roofing tough Titan. And he joins Amy Wood. Davis reached up and snatched it one. Two, it's a touchdown. Yep. Corey, I want to start by talking to you about the performance that you had against the Cincinnati Bengals. You had over 100 receiving yards. You had a touchdown. Obviously not the result that the team wanted, but personally a really good day for you. What was going so well? I mean, I was just trying to go out there and do my job. And everyone has their individual jobs they got to go out there and do. And, um, and I just tried to do my job the best I could. And we came up short and we got a lot of work to do. So we'll get back this week and, and get after it. But I guess there are definitely things that you feel like you can build off of? Yeah, there's a lot to build off of. I mean, it's not all doom and gloom. You know, the good team, we got to give them that credit. But um, we know we can play better. We know we can play a lot better, and we're going to moving forward. So it starts with the preparation and practice. So we get after it. Are there specific things that you feel like this team can pinpoint, specific things they can work on to create the consistency that they're used to seeing on offense? You know, offensively, we have to do a better job of, of, you know, finishing drives. You know, we were able to move the ball, but got solved a few times, you know, once we got down to you know, the fringe area or the red zone. So we got to do a better job of just finishing our drives and, you know, make sure we're getting points on board. Is there something that you can work on in practice, some sort of tangible skill that maybe you can work to improve upon that might help this team continue drives and stay on the field a little bit longer? You know, overall, we just got to come together as an offense and, you know, make our individual efforts, you know, the best that we can. It must be encouraging to you to know that this offense has so many weapons at so many different positions, guys that can really show up whenever their number is called. Yeah, we do have a lot of weapons. We understand that, you know, one week it might be, you know, me getting a lot of targets and the next week it might be AJ or, you know, Derek. We understand we got a lot of weapons and, you know, everyone wants the ball, which is a good thing. You know, everyone wants to win. We got some weapons. We just got to take advantage of, of what we got and, 
you know, take it one game at a time. Now it's still early in the season. There's clearly no reason for this team to panic. What do you do to help this team stay focused when you're going through a little bit of a rough patch? You know, whether you win or you lose, you know, in the, in the previous game, you got a bit behind you and, and, you know, work towards that next group. These weeks are short, you know, in the league, and we got to have a short memory. we got to go out there and prepare like you lost and, and um, you know, get out there and get the best out of yourself and the best out of the team. We've seen this team face adversity, rally, and then overcome it. Can you channel some of that energy maybe into facing some of your upcoming opponents? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I always say we're not front runners. And, you know, we got to do is face adversity that have seen hard times and you know, there is no panic. And, you know, we're going to go out there and we're going to handle our business. Corey Davis, thank you so much for being our Rackley Roofing Tough Titan. Guys, stick around because when the Mike Vrabel Show comes back, there are going to be puppies and kittens. That's right, puppies and kittens, stick around. He needs two yards to keep this game moving on. You see what you're made of when you go through something tough. Steady rainfall. And yeah, it's been a tough year. But Tennesseans are built for this. Grit passed down through generations. We look for it. We like it that way. Football is back, baby. Tough. Tennessee tough. You may have noticed the cardboard cutouts of dogs and cats in the stands at Nissan Stadium for the October 18th game with Houston and the game the following week with Pittsburgh. Well, that was an idea of a great Titans team partner, Mars Pet Care. Let's get these animals adopted, they said, and let's not just do it in Nashville, let's do it in Houston. Well, it was a rousing success. To say that they knocked it out of the park, well, that would be an understatement. Every year we do this adoption event and we decided to go virtual to make things safe, of course, and we wanted to do it as, as much as we could and make the biggest impact possible. Nice photographs, huh? The Titans and Mars Pet Care teamed up to make 200 cutouts of adoptable pets from shelters in both Houston and Nashville and put them in the stands. So we looked at the calendar to see when there were games. Houston is actually, as well as Nashville, both Better Cities for Pets certified cities. So we thought it'd be a great place to start. It was amazing to see four-legged friends in the stadium just seeing those dogs and cats. People just loved that idea. As far as I know, we're the first ones to do this in partnership with the Titans, so we've just gotten such an amazing response. Amy Adams Strunk, she has been such a huge supporter. Titans are known, so that platform having our local team really advocate for animal adoption and providing homes for homeless pets, it's amazing. We actually had like 325 pets adopted, and I think the Titans made a huge contribution. We have such a great relationship with the Titans and Mars Pet Care. It's so great that they're in our own backyard. They sponsor adoption fees, raise awareness. They have such an amazing platform. Companionship is one of the biggest things that we're hearing that people are missing. And so giving people the option to adopt a pet and partnering with the Titans to get the word out was just a really great opportunity. That's a good story. And we've got some good ways for the Titans to win this game against the Bears on Sunday. Mike Vrabel returns with his keys to victory next. As we come back to the Bet MGM Studios, the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. Time for the coach's Nissan keys to success. Number one has been a Titans hallmark when they've been victorious this season, Mike. Something you've done well overall, and that's win the turnover battle. You know, we gotta go, we gotta go find these turnovers on defense. We we gotta find a way to punch the football out, tip the football, catch it, uh, intercept it, uh, or knock it out of somebody's hand. That that has to be. Uh, paramount, you know, we got to take care of the football and offense. This is an excellent defense. And um, again, that's the recipe for us, Mike, is to turn the football over, control it, and, and, and now just, you know, improve this third down defense, get off the field on third down. And for your offense, one of the big challenges is scoring touchdowns in the red zone. Chicago is awfully good at stopping it. And we've been pretty good, you know, I mean, by the numbers, we've been pretty good. Unfortunately, we weren't exactly where we needed to be the other day um, and th and they're excellent and they're excellent so it'll be a, a strength of theirs uh, versus what we think is a, is a strength of ours 
And finally, be great in the coverage units because of Cordero Patterson. Yep, your, your buddy from UT, right? And uh, <laughs> you know, talented, fast player, big player, fearless. Um, does a lot of things for him. And, and again, if he gets going, you know, he, he's a big, fast guy that um, doesn't, doesn't mind hitting it downhill on, on these kickoff returns. Let's get it cranked up and get to 6-2 and two this weekend, Mike. Yeah, I think it's about time, Michael. Yes, sir. Remind you, the game with Chicago kicks off at 12.02 Central Time on Sunday. We're on the air with Titans Countdown at 11, and we look forward to having you join us on Titans Radio 104.5 The Zone here in Nashville. For head coach Mike Vrabel, I'm Mike Keith from the Bet MGM Studios, the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. Thanks for joining us.